the big one tonight, Blues v Baggies. I'm walking around to Lee's and uh, see if we can get the win. I mean, I'll take anything. I'll take a draw today, to be honest. Um, before we get into it, make sure you drop a like on the video, comment if you're new, subscribe if you're new, and if you're enjoying the content. And uh, let's hope Blues get something a little bit better today. It's really good. So we've just popped to the petrol station for a quick sandwich. <laughs> we were about to walk down to the, uh, the stadium and witness the game, which I'm sure is going to be an amazing game. Yeah, no, it's probably going to be absolutely dreadful. Uh, just wanted to thank the sponsors of today's video. Hello72, they're a brand new YouTube channel. They've only been about since August, but they're already growing really fast and they're hoping to build a big network of EFL fans in the next few months. And they cover all 72 clubs from Birmingham to Barrow. It's really good. And uh, you can go and check it out with the link down in the description. And they've got loads of great content on there. I recently did a chat with James Alcott and uh, the Baggies podcast. Roll VT. <laughs> Do you see yourselves winning? I think the game's really going to be won in how effective both teams can be on the counter because we're not a side that likes to have the ball. And by looking at some of Birmingham City stats, they're not a side that likes to have the ball either. So it's sort of going to be a you have the ball sort of thing and we'll try and hit you on the break and I think both teams are going to do that. Yeah, I think counter-attacking is going to be a big part of it and, and whose defence can really, really sort of stem the flow of, of the opposition attack really. And and Joe, who's going to be the key man for, for you guys in this one? I, th I mean, I think all season the one player that's been consistently good for us has always been Chong. Like I said before as well though, there's going to be a few changes and I think we really need a leader um, and whoever that's going to be. I, I've got I've got a feeling that we're going to drop our captain. Um, so whether it's going to be Duke um, that's going to be that leader, I think that could have a big part to play as well. Boya said he's he's given players a chance this season and they haven't taken it. So now it's time to give other players a chance. It could go one way or the other. I think if we if if they really step up and want to take it, you know, Derby Day, the fans allowed. You just don't know what could happen, really. So I'm holding out hope. So yeah, as you can see from that video, I'm not exactly um, massively confident. Um, I think Baggies are expecting a little bit of a performance from us, from what they're saying. And um, I don't know. I'm just hoping today something's a little bit different. You know, like past few games have been terrible. We've won one in our last five. We need to turn it around. And I know we're playing second in the league today, but a point today would be, well, it would go a long way. Um, and you can see we've dropped Harley Dean. So maybe, I mean, that could be a piece of the puzzle. Can George Friend come in and step in and save the day? I don't know. I don't really think he can, but we'll see. Full of positivity. Let's get into the game. Up the blues. Lee, we're here no. today. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing, I feel like I'm doing a paranormal documentary. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's wild to be doing with a light on. <laughs> um, they've lost four of their last five. And we never win here. Uh, we don't win here. Last time we won here was 2006. Oh, I mean, what are your hopes? <laughs> very, very low at the moment. There's no Dean, which is a start, but I can't say I'm confident. Like I just said to you, my highest expectations is literally draw in a normal, upset the home fans, that kind of performance, time wake. Not really positive uh, hopes, but let's see what we can do. Yeah. Get the early goal, you never know. But I don't hold on with Joe. Yeah, I don't blame you. No. Uh, what would you say the score is going to be? 2 0 Albion. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say one more. You can talk about a draw. 2-0 yeah. Albion. 2-0 Albion. Yeah, no, I don't blame you. It's got to be honest. It's got to be honest. I don't blame you. Well, fair play. Maybe we'll get something. Let's hope so. Fuck the Albion! Fuck the Albion! Fuck the Albion! Fuck the Albion! I think we're going to win. 7-4. No, we're not. How are we going to fuck us up? Fuck the Albion! We will have one shot. One shot on target. And we'll score it. 2-1 Blues. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, you Blues. Take your fucking drummer up your ass! Fuck yeah! 
start so far, but every time we go up the right wing, there's no support and they have to turn back. Get rid of me! Oh my god, Hogan getting the work in.
He's not gonna win the header. He's not gonna win the header, is he? Four, four, two. Four, four, two. What is, what is Justin EK doing? What is he bringing to this game? Please, someone tell me. Like, he's not jumping for a header or anything. Oh. Oh. Disappointing in the end that was, I don't really know what to say. I am still quite annoyed. I think overall when we're looking at the game, we played better, we played well, we looked good, we looked solid in defence for all but one moment of the game really. Um, it was just another case of, one, we didn't take our chances. I know we didn't get as many this time, but we still didn't. We had a clear chance for Sunic. Um, and that was the, really the one for us that we didn't take. Hogan, I thought, played really well. But again, it was just, it, you know, it was a bit of a one of them where they've got the players that can score the goals. They are clinical. We're just not. We never seem to take our chances. You'd think one of these games, we'd have one shot that goes in. But now we haven't scored for, what, what is it, four games, five games? I don't know. Fulham, Lee was saying, was the last game we scored in. Dean yeah, scored the penalty. Exactly. Um, so we do have a bit of a problem. I think with this game, I think if you looked at it um, on its own, I think it's not a bad performance. It's an unlucky result. But for me, it's just frustrating seeing the bigger picture. One point from six games is not good enough. And Start an EK and there's no problems. Yeah, don't bring an EK on. I, don't, I think that was a poor sub. I, I don't know why you're bringing Hogan up unless he's injured, because he... Like Lee, like Lee said it himself, like you take him off, you lose every attacking threat you've got, really. It's just not good enough, but I think we've just got to go again and hope that we can do something midweek against Huddersfield. I think you'll see the Bowie interview will say we played well, unlucky, whatever, fair play. Um, it's just one of them, we just got to pick ourselves up. We need to get a win, we really do. It's a long old season anyway, it's a marathon, not a sprint, so let's uh, carry on. Enjoy the rest of your weekends, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you later.